Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. Today we're continuing to set up our team associated SC10 for uh, the track for racing over at NorCal Hobbies. Um, one of the things is the the radio, right? Um, actually, uh, this this has been our staple around here. The the Fly Sky GT3B, and this one's seen better days. The handle's been cracked. An antenna is kind of broke in there, but it still works. Um, was looking for an extra receiver, and actually, I I couldn't find one. I think I put my last one into the um, uh, the Techno SCT410.3 that we have uh, that four wheel drive short course. So. Um, ordering a couple usually takes a, a few days to come in so um, you know I've been kind of debating on whether to stick with the fly sky um, platform anyways uh, you know especially for racing it's not known to have the uh, the highest um, speed in terms of responsiveness for um, you know for the steering and throttle and whatnot the resolution of um, of uh, or you know the, the speed to react to your your inputs there so um, uh, had this this tactic laying around, um, you know. These usually come stock in in tower hobbies, uh, you know, stuff like the uh, the axials and uh, uh, you know the uh, I guess uh, the armas now and whatnot. Um, so I was I was hoping that uh, you know our older arma like our Creighton um, or Creighton, whatever you want to call it, it was actually compatible with the Fly Sky. Right, uh, so you could bind the the receiver with the fly sky. Um, we were going to test uh, the uh, the tactic here. I, I did a quick Google search and and found out that it probably won't work. Um, I, I might give it a, a shot anyways here in a, in an episode. But um, notice that the uh, the lid to the the receiver popped off. Oops, popped off while we were uh, taking it out. So I uh, just wanted to take the the chance to. Um, to take a look at what are these uh, what what are these receivers look like nowadays. So when I first got involved in in RC uh, thirty plus years ago, uh, you open up a receiver case or you happen to to pop one up open accidentally. It was a whole bunch of resistors and transistors, and uh, it was probably about uh, at least twice the size of this. Uh, you know, probably thicker as well. I mean, this this this. Um, this board is pretty small, so you'll you'll notice there's only a couple of components on there. Most of them are are integrated circuits, right? A lot of bunch of uh, you know, a bunch of transistors and whatnot in a single package, right? So you'll see three of those uh, those ICs with uh, with multiple legs there, right? Um, so pretty cool stuff. A couple of, uh, of components surface mounted on there, so you'll see that the profile is is very thin. Um, you gotta be careful not to fry these electrostatically, but uh, I'm gonna grab it by the pins there, it should be okay. Um, but uh, yeah, very clean design from from a, um, from a circuit perspective. Um, so pretty cool, I mean, they, they could have probably made the, the case even smaller, although this is pretty small already, right? Um, but uh, you know, the, probably the bulkiest part are the output pins, and you'll see the little button there for, for binding or linking. Uh, so this this is what the the tactic TR three two six receiver, um, and this is the uh, what is this the TTX three hundred transmitter. So we'll probably end up using this in our uh, our SE ten. Uh, I was debating on whether to you know to get more of these right. Uh, I I really like the design because there's no antenna right. Um, it's it's very compact, much more. So then the uh, the the Traxxas controllers, right? Uh, seems pretty durable here. Uh, takes four double A's. Probably won't bother open that up. Uh, it doesn't have a charging port, which was a nice feature on the um, you know the older systems that came on those Tower Hobbies uh, vehicles, like the Armas and whatnot. They actually had a charging port in there. Uh, but it did have an exposed antenna, which this one does not. So, um, you know, much better for, for kids, right? Just more durable, less things to, to break off. Uh, but uh, just a couple of considerations there. I'm not sure, this looks like a, it's, it's actually a third channel. I haven't noticed that one before. Um, but uh, yeah, I actually haven't used this in, 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 um, in practice on a vehicle yet. It feels pretty nice and ergonomic. We'll check it out, um, but uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys next time.